Hey guys, this is Bailey with Scott Leroy Marketing and today I'm going to show you how you can import contacts into MailChimp. So to use any of the campaigns in command, you actually have to have a MailChimp account and you need to make sure that your contacts are in MailChimp. So right now I'm on the home page of MailChimp. I'm going to go ahead and get logged in. If we have done a setup for you, you will see that um, your MailChimp username and password is on your setup complete email. Um, if not, you will have to create an account, but they are totally free. I'm going to go ahead and get signed in. All right, so now um, I'm still setting up my account. It's brand new, so it's asking me some security questions. But from the home page of MailChimp, to get to our contacts, we're going to go up to the top and click on Audience. From here you can see your contact list, get more information about your contacts, but to import we're going to go over to the right and click on this button that says manage audience. We can add a subscriber, this is adding one contact, but to import we're going to click the second option for import contacts. It's going to give us a couple options. I'm going to choose the second one. This is basically um, choosing an Excel file or a CSV file. And I'm going to click Continue to set up. All right, this brings us to a page where we can browse for our import file. I'm going to actually show you guys my import file first. So this is the command import template. Um, for MailChimp, you don't need any extra information beyond first name, last name, and email address. You can add in anything else you have for that person, um, but the only thing MailChimp needs is first name, last name, and email. I'm actually gonna go back a couple steps. All right, so this is the command template. You can use this, it works uh, perfectly fine. But the one thing we need to do um, on the command template, you can see they add in this extra first row. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that so MailChimp doesn't get confused. So I'm going to highlight this by clicking on it, right click and hit delete. And then you can see I accidentally had our last names in this middle name column, so I'm just going to move these over and get rid of that. Okay, so now my import template is good to go. We have all of our different items in different columns, first name, last name, and email. I'll go ahead and save this. And now when we go back to MailChimp, we're on this um, upload file page, I can click browse, and then choose that file from my computer. All right, now our next step is to click this teal button down at the bottom, continue to match. All right, and now it's going to show us our columns. Um, so MailChimp is pretty cool. It wants to just double check any columns it's unsure of. So you can see these ones went through. It, it was able to read these um, items with in the first name column, last name, and then all of these say unmatched. Um, that's because there's nothing in these columns. So you can go through these, and if you needed to, you could hit skip. It won't actually import those basically go through. Um, you can just hit skip all for these unmatched columns. So these are just columns that didn't have any information in them. Um, but if you have, oops, I don't want to do that. I want to save. Skip. Oops, sorry. Okay. So unless you have a file where there's a lot of information on here, um, you may want to actually go through and double check. But for this one, since we only had three columns with information, I know I don't need to go through these. So I can just hit skip all. And you can see it won't imp it won't import this information since these columns were blank. And now I can hit uh, continue to organize. All right, so now we can tag all of our contacts, very similar to the tags in command. It's basically um, adding in like a group for them. So if I wanted to add or create a tag, I can click the plus sign. To create a new tag, you can just type that in here. 
let's say like coworkers, and click on that. That'll tag all of these people as coworkers. I'm going to go back to manage tags. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. What'll happen if I go back? Okay, <laughs> sorry. I was just trying to um, choose this tag that I already created. I'm going to choose SLM. If you wanted to manage your tags, you can click on that, um, but I'm just going to choose this. Choose the status of these uh, contacts. So in MailChimp, they really push that they only want you emailing people that have actually subscribed to your emails. So you have to choose a status for these people, whether they have subscribed, unsubscribed, non-subscribed means you um, they haven't opted in, but you can still send them um, transactional emails from your store or cleaned. So basically the only one that is eligible for actually sending out MailChimp emails would be subscribed. So I'm going to choose that. And then if you have, if, in, if any of your contacts that you're importing are already in your database and you want them updated with the new information you're adding in, you can uh, check this box. I'm just going to hit continue to review. And now it's saying I'm all set to import. We're importing five columns. We're applying a tag and a status. So now we can click import. Perfect, and now it says three of my contacts were imported. I can actually scroll down and see those here. And if you had any errors, you can see up here at the top, it says one email was invalid or role-based. You can go ahead and click on that and view why. But that is how you can import your contacts into MailChimp. And you can see all of their information here. Thank you.